I just have to write this one paper and I'll be done. The junior year. I've done <coughs> everything. I packed everything up, put it in a storage unit. I got COVID last week. So, <sighs> getting through that and everything between me and junior year is just landing on this one paper for a really nice professor. I just don't really want to write the paper, but in the next three weeks, I will be in Prague. I already have most of my clothes like selected. I just have to actually pack them into my suitcase and then get ready to leave for the whole summer. I'm honestly really nervous, but I'm also really excited. I haven't like left the United States since the last time I went home, which was a while ago. I just feel like these last couple days are really bittersweet because I am saying goodbye to so many really great friends who are all graduating and I'm also getting ready to become a senior myself and turn my last year of college, even though it doesn't feel like that. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of packing and just preparing, so the lead up will be worth it. I will vlog in Prague. But yeah, that's all for now. I'll update you guys when I finish this paper. I'm so This is content, guys. Wait. I'm patient. Can you see that again? Simple drink, skip all of this thing. No, this isn't my favorite one. I like this guy that I that skirt one. That was really good. This is, is this not skirt? This is city. Oh, so it's a different skirt. Can you taste it? I don't know how to eat it. It's not going down. I can't feel my tongue. So when I lick it, I can't tell if I'm licking it. <laughs> I'm so tired. Mm. Okay, this was enough of the eating content. Bye. This is off date. I'm just trying to piece together the clips and the videos that I do have but um I finished my paper four days ago on Monday it was the worst paper of my life it was supposed to be six oh my god it was supposed to be six to ten pages but I only wrote five then I got my wisdom teeth out and now I look like this it's day two I'm still a little bit swollen right now I'm at my brother's place in DC and I'm really just trying to heal the wisdom teeth so I feel okay to fly in a week. I think I'll be fine. I honestly haven't gotten like as swollen as I've seen people on like the internet, but maybe it's coming for me tomorrow because tomorrow's day three, but we'll see. See you when I see you next. <laughs>
I did not think I would make it, but it's already been the start of the third week of my internship. I've got my two pimples of Prague, first pimples in Prague going strong. I really think it's because I'm eating a lot of bread and cheese, drinking a lot of wine, drinking a lot of beer. It's just a combination that doesn't sit well with me. But I don't know, it's weird to wake up and be in such a beautiful place because I don't really feel like myself here. Like, I don't know, I'm just in a new place. I don't really know anyone. <laughs> Tried to make some friends. I'm trying to make some friends, but it's a lot harder than it seems. So if anyone wants to hang out in Prague with me, I have this really nice terrace that I share with my roommate. I've been existentially journaling, as one does. This was like the first night I got here. Did a little sketch of the buildings over there. And I also went to a park, journaled that. I have no idea what this says, so I might have to cover that later. But I don't know, I'm excited to be here, but I'm also nervous. And I think one thing that I journaled a lot about is about how everyone kind of talks about going abroad very magically, but I feel like I'm still doing the same stuff. Like just as much as I hold up in my dorm room, I'm still hold up here. Like I've gone sightseeing a little bit, but I haven't really explored on my own. And like, I don't know if that's out of nerves and like fear or if that's just kind of how I am and if that's how I'll always be even if the location changes which is a little daunting to think about when I still don't really know who I am. I don't know the end of the school year felt so abrupt for me because I got COVID. Um, I watched all my friends graduate which was actually a lot more heartbreaking than I thought it would be not to be dramatic but Suddenly, all of these really amazing people that I knew were walking across this stage. And even though it's just this stage, it kind of feels like they're walking out of a part of my life where I can be just like a dorm room away. And now I have to fly to Charlotte, North Carolina just to see Hannah J. Dong. But it is what it is. I think next year I'll be ready. I can't stop thinking about the start of next year, what my senior year is going to look like, what job I'm going to get, um, like fellowships to apply to, like a lot of things just on my mind. And there's the bell going off. I think it's the, it might be the 546, it might be the five to five. I don't know, sometimes the bells just go off at weird times, but I don't know who I'm updating. Maybe I'm just updating, like, Maddie. <laughs> I don't know who watched. It feels like, oh my god, should I just let the bells go? Should I just talk over it? I don't know how loud they sound. It feels like last summer again when I had no one around me so I started talking to this camera because it felt like at least I was getting them out and the other part of journaling is like no one else really gets to see it so if anyone for some reason wants to actually listen to this and realize that we're all struggling out here might be fun. I don't know. I like never set out um, to do a certain kind of video or to like target a certain kind of audience because for one I didn't think anyone would really care. Wow they're going on for a long time. That's okay. 
I, I wasn't sure people would care and I wasn't really sure what my message is or you know the brand is but I guess we'll figure it out together for now I will just keep on enjoying the nice architecture me and my terrace oh no I need a thumbnail <laughs> oh my god oh that's not good That's gonna have to do. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, just normal life updates. Oh my god, it's dark in here. Okay, room tour. So, I did a lot of these really sad room tours on FaceTime when I was calling my friends. But let's do this. So, you saw the terrace, beautiful, best part actually. This is my bed, it's like a hole in the wall. This is my roommate's bed. This is my dresser. This is the chair. This is closet and dresser. Wow, it's very hard to get a nice shot shower. This is actually a really nice shower. I enjoy the water pressure. Very nice. Um, my sink is the one on the left. Substantial toilet. Another closet here, but there's nothing nice in there. Mirror for the work outfits. Could I do an outfit check? Okay, these stairs are dangerous after you've had a little bit of wine. Oh, socks on. No dogs out. This is a little desk. I've never sat here, but that is my laptop. TV. These are these nice two fun windows. They go out like this. So you can kind of like... I don't know, you can't really do anything. But they're like slanted. But a pigeon died and fell on top of the one on the left, which is kind of terrifying. This is our couch. has my stuff on it. This is our TV. This is a document from work. Um, this is a ticket from a ballet I went to see. Oh no, that's not that. It's that's a ticket to go into the St. Nicholas Church. Never mind. Stereo system. More stuff. More stuff. Oh, those are all my towels. Okay. Here's another bathroom. But it's really small. And I don't know if it's, the lighting is going to be so bad. Okay. Shoes. Door. Um, little walk-in area. This is the kitchen. I really like the kitchen. I just did some dishes. That's a sweet potato I need to eat. I'm prepping for dinner. We're gonna do some beef stir fry with rice. Here's our bread area, but we ate all the bread. Here I am starting a spring onion garden. Um, ancestors of this piece of spring onion. Here's another nice thing. There's a nice family that eats over there all the time. And then I think some of these are Airbnbs because I've seen different people kind of switch as the days go by. This is our little kitchen table, but we always eat upstairs. Washer, dryer. Our fridge is a little empty. Actually, it looks okay. It was a lot worse when we first got here. 